Hey, Corey with Blood Brothers Racing here. Uh, I'm actually out here helping Chris. We're changing the subframe on his Nova. Uh, but that's not why we're here to talk. We're here to talk about what happened to the truck at Beach Bend. Uh, arguably, pretty successful day. Week, whatever, we get down there on Monday and don't start racing until Thursday because we're idiots. <laughs> but uh, we had, I don't know if I talked about it in the last movie or not, but I broke the torque converter, so I had to replace it. Uh, Deshaun Transmission's up in Indy. He took care of me, sent me down a, a bolt together torque converter, uh, sprag list this time so I could do big burnouts, which you'll find out I do some big burnouts. So, uh, you know, we were out there, I put the 90 tune up in, and uh, this is what happened. All right, first round of qualifying. Don't know how it's gonna do. I, I put what, what I think is gonna be close to a 90. It's probably gonna be like a, an 890 if I had to guess. But hopefully, we'll see. So a little bit slow. I think it was a 9.1 or 0.2 maybe. Uh, only slow because uh, I spun the tires. I did not know why I thought this would be smart, but uh, I raised the rear tire pressure to 12 pounds. It was on 10. That was my bad. Um, we went back to 10 for Q2. Um, and this is what happened on that one. All right, don't know how well you can hear me, but uh... Q1 didn't go well. I spun the tires at a 927. So what we did was uh, when I spun the tires, it went into shift. So I changed that to change it to uh, shift by time, and I'm lowering my tire pressure to hope keep me from slipping. We're hoping for a, an 890 if I can get it, but a nine flat is perfect. boy 8.995 all right we're in the ballpark feeling good uh we decided to record some live podcasts that night uh which if you guys are into podcasting or like listening or even watching because we we do the video of it too uh check out line lock podcasts uh we're on this platform we're on facebook check us out uh, we did a live podcast with several people some really good ones make sure you subscribe to that side of the the channel um because it's a lot of fun. So uh, the next day we go up for Q3. I left the tune-up the same. My idea was to just whoop, right at the end to try to shave off that 005 that I needed to get off the time, the ET. Uh, and this is what happened. All right, up for Q2, or three, sorry. Last Q was last night. I don't know if I told you or whatever, but it's 8.995. Just got to shave the 0.05 off. Be right on the dial. Uh, number one qualifier is uh, dead on with a three, so it's going to be tough to get that, but hey, a little luck on our side, we make it. All right.
All right, so uh, Q3 wasn't so good. Uh, ran a 10.1, I think. 10 point, 10, or not 10. I keep saying 10. It's 9.1 something, uh, so I slowed down. But we had 15 mile an hour headwinds. So I thought that may be what it was. Uh, so I just left it to see, uh, to see if the headwinds was it. Um, and ran on Q4. super easy to change the spark plugs now all right so uh that still wasn't great it was a uh, 9.093 didn't change anything but the weather predicted to be a little bit faster so i guess okay uh, our thought maybe was the the torque converter needed a little bit of time to wear in gave us the fluctuation i don't know but regardless going into eliminations round one uh i had a little bit too slow of a tune-up so we decided to change the shift point uh, 0.4 of a second later. Uh, I knew that was gonna make us run a little fast. Didn't know how fast. My idea was just to make sure I paced the guy, whoever ended up, ended up getting. Um, I think that's about it. We ended up drawing a Nova. Went up around one. Let you watch that real quick, and then when you come back, we'll talk about what happened. All right, first round of eliminations. Um, Best qualifier I had was a 995, but I think it was because I had a tailwind and I had a headwind yesterday. I was slow by 0.1. So uh, we kind of had the same weather. I shifted, I'm going to shift a 0.5 or 0.4 seconds later. Hopefully, I'll bring us up to speed. That's some bullshit. Uh, you probably don't know the numbers yet because you just got done watching it. But I ran an 8.990. Couldn't couldn't catch the guy. Had a 114 reaction time. Um, not really sure exactly why. Well, I kind of know why. My thought in it was anyway. Is I, I was having a hard time seeing the light. The new plexiglass has glare on it, a little different than the regular glass, and uh, I couldn't see the bulbs well. And I think I just. It just had me off on the starting line. Uh, again, I can I can only make so many excuses for myself um, for losing. And the tuning part was great. I mean, the, I tell you what, if the tuner and the driver could get together and have a good day, we could probably have a win. <laughs> you know, I just need to get those two guys at the same place and the right at the same time. But uh, a 114 reaction time is not going to cut it. So we got some provisions. I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to visor. Uh, regular visor I can put down so I can try to eliminate some of that glare hopefully that'll help uh, I just need to be better you know it just it happens uh, but running an 899 I predicted a 899 ish maybe 898 uh, so I was really happy with that um, going forward we just need to figure out what we're gonna do about uh, the glare to make sure that we can stay competitive uh, next race is Norwalk so make sure if you're in that area to come visit us, hang out. When is New York? End of July, right? 22nd, I think? 25th, 26th. Uh, yeah, that 25th, 26th. I, I'm going to put the dates up here because I don't know offhand. Uh, but, man, we appreciate you, you uh, watching and 
let me know down in the comment section how retarded I am because I am pretty retarded. Um, and hopefully Norwalk is the win. We're going to get one one of these days. All right. All right. Again, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.